Hello and welcome to Quick Tips. In this video, we will see how to install a currency switcher plugin on a WooCommerce website. We will try two different types of currency switcher plugins. The first one will be a free currency switcher plugin and the second one will be a paid currency switcher plugin. When you install a currency switcher plugin on your website, the customer will be able to pay in different currencies. Let's suppose this website is in India and the currency used on this website is Indian rupees. Now what if my customer is in USA and they want to see the pricing of this product in USD. Now I have installed the currency switcher plugin on this website and when I hover to this icon it will show the price of this product in different currencies. You can see the pricing in USD, Euro, GBP, Australian Dollar and you can add more currencies. This way customer will be able to pay in their own currency. Let's see if I change this to USD then it will change the pricing of this product of this website in USD. You will see it here. Now if I add to the cart and when I go to view cart you will see the pricing is still in USD and the customer will be able to pay in USD. Here you can see that when I change it to Euro it will change the pricing accordingly. Now let's go back to this product. Now you can also set a fixed pricing for different currencies. Now in case of this product I have set the pricing of this product for 14 euro and if you see the pricing of this product in USD is 15. It is a fixed pricing so no matter what the price of the currency it will not change. So using this plugin you can also set a fixed pricing in different currencies. So let's start with the installation of this free currency switcher plugin. I'm already logged into the WooCommerce website that is the WordPress dashboard of the website. Now let's go to the plugins and then go to add new and search for the plugin WooCommerce currency switcher enter so here you will see some free currency switcher plugin so we are going to start with this one WOOCS WOOCS currency switcher for WooCommerce and you can see that it has been installed on 60,000 plus websites so so let's start with installation of this free plugin click on install now click on activate all right, so the plugin has been activated. Let's go to the all plugins or let's refresh it. Now here you will see the option works WooCommerce currency switcher. Go to settings. With the free plugin, you will get only two currency options. The one will be INR and the second will be USD. INR because the basic currency of this website is INR. So that's why it's the basic currency and this one is the USD okay so these are the only two currency plans that comes with the free plugin okay so now here you can change the basic currency okay so one dollar seems to be at 76.49 rupees INR if I change it to welcome currency that will be one rupees then it will this will be the price of USD Okay. Now you can see it here in the free version of this plugin you can operate with any two currencies only if you want to use more currencies then you can switch to the pro version of this plugin. Okay now let's see other options. So this will be the welcome currency USD or INR I'll keep it on INR. Now this is the currency aggregator currency aggregator so it will take the currency rates from this website so www.finance.yahoo.com if you want to change you can change i'll keep it on yahoo.com currency storage transient so i don't think you need to make any changes here let's switch on this show flags by default show currency symbols icons show price info icon show approximate price and on this website I'm using a cash plugin so I have it enabled okay now let's go to advanced settings is multiple allowed 
customer will pay using selected currency yes or no individual fixed prices rule for each product so each product can have a fixed price in the other currency so you will be able to set fixed prices for simple or and variable products only when it is enabled so right now we do not have it enabled okay so i don't think there is any need to change anything here geo ip is uh, it will detect the region automatically and it will show the price in that particular region smart designer is there we will check it later side enabled it is right now enabled uh, let's first save the changes now let's go to the website and go to the shop page of this website now here you will see the option right now the welcome currency is INR that is Indian rupees and here you will see that info which will show the price of this particular product in dollars in USD so this is the info button and this is the side you have it here let me show you again side if I disable it it will not show it here and let's refresh it now you will see that this option is gone so let's enable it again okay, now let's save the changes refresh it switch on to USD now here you will see that the price has been changed to USD so people will be able to pay using the dollar let's try to add to the card right now we have selected USD now let's go to view cart and you will see that the cart is also taking the USD so people will be able to pay in the dollars instead of rupees so if I switch over to rupees it will switch over to rupees okay so there will be some minor changes because of the currency change okay now let's go back to the website now here we have only two options INR and USD now what if you want to add more currencies then you will need to go for the paid plugin let me show you some paid plugins now here you can see the YITH multi currency switcher for WooCommerce this one is a paid plugin and this one is also a good currency switcher plugin and the price of this plugin is $99.99 per year and it has got one year updates and support 30 days made money back guarantee even if after one year if you do not renew the subscription the plugin will keep on working here is the second option this one is currency switcher for WooCommerce and it, you will find it on WooCommerce website and the price is $79 uh, one year support and 30 days money back guarantee and one year update okay and this one is the third currency switcher you will find it on code canon website i'll give you the links in the description box also and the price of this one is 34 dollars and this is the same plugin that we have installed here so this is the paid version of this plugin and you will see different options the features of this pro plugin the paid plugin of course there are some other features included on yith currency switcher and WooCommerce currency switcher so all the three plugins are different they have different features and in the upcoming videos I'll show you how these paid currency switcher plugins work we will work on YITH multi currency switcher for WooCommerce and we will also install this WooCommerce currency switcher plugin in the upcoming videos so let's start with this one so we are going to install this paid plugin I already have it downloaded on my computer so let's go to the plugins and click on add new click on upload plugin and let me browse the plugin that I have downloaded this one is a paid plugin all right so it is the free version is already installed so let me replace current with the uploaded one Okay, now let's go to install plugins and now go to settings now 
Now here you will see different currencies. Right now we chose two currencies, INR and USD. If you want to add, you can click on add currency. And from here select the currency. Let's see this one. Okay, now leave it as it is, two decimal. Let's refresh it. Okay, so this is the a value of this currency all right now show client show sends public visibility okay if you want to add more you can click on this one and add more so you will see many currency options are here all right so you can select any of them so let's delete this one so i'm using three currencies only you can add more currencies okay now let's save the changes let's go back to the products and here you will see the third currency option is added here now here when i click on the info button you will see price in different currencies so let's see other options here so this is a, these are the same options. Okay, now advanced is multiple allowed. Yes. Okay. Now individual fixed price rules. Let's enable it and see how does this work. Click OK. Right now let's save the changes. Now let's go to advanced option. The side switcher option here. Now if you want to change the color, you can change the color also. From here, you can select the color and change the color. Classic block, let's select a roll blocks and save the changes. And let's refresh this one. Okay, you will see this roll blocks, it doesn't look good. So let's go back and let's select this one, round select. And let's refresh it. Okay, it shows only one that is selected that is round. And if you click on it, you will see the drop down with the other options. Okay, you will see that the price has been changed. So let's roll back to the first option the classic block. Okay, GYP is here let's suppose you want to show usd for afghanistan then you can select afghanistan and in afghanistan it will show the pricing in usd if you want to show usd in australia then it will show usd in australia of course you can add other currencies you can also add australian currency here and it will automatically detect australian region and it will show the australian currency all right let's go to help and you will see the documents here you can use those documents let's save the changes go back to the website and refresh the page all right now let's use the inr here now let's go to this product Okay, here you will see the price in USD and Euro. Okay, now let's edit the product. I'm opening the edit option of this product in a new window. The Indian rupee price is thousand rupees. The USD is thirteen dollars, and Euro is twelve dollars thirty nine cents. Now, what if I want this product to sell for fifteen dollars in USD, and for Euro I want to sell it for 14 euro and in INR I want to keep it on thousand rupees even if there is a change in the currency pricing I want this product to be sold at the price of 15 USD and 14 euro and the INR will be thousand so let's go to the product here click on this the product fixed price rules if you remember we here we selected individual fixed price rules enabled so that's why we see this option here so click on it usd add 
okay right now it shows the price automatically you, you see this one $13 it shows according to the price of the currency now I want to change it to 15 okay the regular price is 15 okay now I want to add euro I want to show you sell it at 14 okay so no matter what the currency price is I want to sell it them at this price so let's update it now let's refresh this page now you will see this pricing here so the pricing in INR is thousand the USD is 15 and euro is 14 so let's change it to USD it shows 15 so let's add to the card and you will see that the card price is also 15 for this one okay so this product will not take the auto currency rate it will take the fixed pricing that we have set here these are the fixed pricing rates so this way you can change the pricing of each product no matter what the price of the currency at that time so it will not get the auto price now here you will see the option to update all rates so whenever you want to update you can update the currency rate right now it shows these rates okay now if you want them to update automatically there is an option no auto update under options you will see when you want to update the currency you can set it to daily so it will set it will update the currency pricing on daily basis and once it updates it will send you the email also you need to enable this option email notice about a rate auto update results so it will send you email when you enable this option all right so right now we have it set to daily update so each day it will update the currency pricing and it will charge according to the new updated currency pricing or if you want you can do it manually also by clicking this option or if you want to set a fixed pricing for each product then you can do it manually just the way we did here all right so in the upcoming videos we will see how these two paid currency switcher plugins work the woocommerce currency switcher and the yith multi-currency switcher plugin we will go through the installation and setting of these two currency switcher plugins also that's it for now see you in the next video do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comment section. And press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching quick tips.